as we gather at this place. And Dr. King prayed for the soul of this great nation, tens of thousands of citizens from all walks of life have come here today to rekindle his dream and once again hope that all America will soon come to the realization that the wars that we wage today in faraway lands are immoral, unconscionable, and unwinnable. The Central Intelligence Agency in its official report tells us that the enemy we pursue in Afghanistan and in Pakistan, the Al-Qaeda, they number less than 50, I say 50 people. Do we really think that sending 100,000 young American men and women to kill innocent civilians, women and children, and antagonizing the tens of millions of people in the whole region somehow makes us secure? Does this make any sense? No! The President's decision to escalate the war in that region alone costs the nation $33 billion. That sum of money could not only create 600,000 jobs here in America, but would even leave us a few billion to start rebuilding our schools, our roads, our hospitals, and affordable housing. It could also help to rebuild the lives of the thousands of our returning wounded veterans.